When did you come up with the album title? When? Yeah, when? Was it during the recordings, before the recordings, after the recordings? It was after the recordings. But I think we first sung about the Grass Widow just before we made the record. We, we did another song called We Are On Fire. Yeah. And also we did some theatrical work and some dance pieces together and some exhibitions that all touched on the theme of the Grass Widow which is about an abandoned child in our version of the Grass Widow. It's not a widow who's mourning the loss of a husband but a child that's mourning the loss of innocence. And what, how, how has she lost the innocence, the child? All kinds of, all kinds of tragic ways, mostly. Um, sometimes more subtle ways, just being neglected and. Um, not being received, not being seen, being, becoming um, invisible. The Grass Widow is a, is a faceless and nameless character which incarnates in different ways. We do touch on some subjects such as child marriage, and child bride, so yeah. yeah, and child bride. The the child bride is is in our story. It's a true story about a five year old girl who's married off to an adult, and we explore from her perspective. You know what what she could be thinking and feeling in a situation like that. It's. It's not, she's not angry. She actually is, has no idea what's happening to her. And her, her fear is really just about being lonely. And she finds comfort only in the natural world. One of her friends is the sparrow who, who brings her news. And it, it illustrates the 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 fantasy world of the of the little girl who's i guess project projecting certain kind of human relationships into her relationship with animals and plants so charles charles you were saying what what is it also some sort of metaphor for the earth and the world we are living in right now loss of innocence Mankind, because also a song about well, it's called tears, tears, tears for animals, but mm. it's about uh, love for the humankind. If we have lost it, the song with Anthony, still some something to do with that. That song is about the need for love. Um, Maybe that indicates a loss, certainly, um, that there is such a need for compassion in a world that has a, a very strange balance and a strange focus where all the power is in the hands of men. The song talks about um, having love for humankind and refers to those of us that do see solutions and, and do have a sense of hope taking a hold of the compassion that is within us and using it to reach out and teach others. And we're um, you know, through songs like that and just kind of, you know, in general, we're asking people to 
think about these things and to think about the way we treat children and women and the way we treat the earth and seeing that those treatments are so very similar. And just to talk about it, you know, start dialogues about this stuff. Yeah. There's also a song, uh, end, end of Time. Um, are we close to it, to the end of time? <laughs> Well, I hope not. <laughs> it it seems like things are at a very urgent place and the earth is giving us signs that things are not well. Um so one know, sign can you can, can you give me one sign that that the earth is giving right now? Well, the the change in in climate and the the purity of the water and the way the animals are responding to that. The end of time is a song about um, the end that may come or that may be here or. Um, personally, my vote is it's passing, actually, and that we are on the brink of a new beginning. So this is, you know, more directly what the song means to me. It's about facing the end of things and seeing that if there is a continuation that we must evolve and be ready to transform in our ideas and our perspectives and that yes it's possible so it is in a way a, a gloom way of uh, considering hopeful ideas and solutions so not meaning literally that the end the earth will end but meaning the ideas and how people uh, will live their lives mm -hmm. um, it's been three years since the previous album. Um, how do you look back on that album? Wow, really, it was such a different experience, uh, musically, artistically, for us. We we were in a very uh, we were in a mood. It was a really hard album to talk about because the poetry and the ideas were very abstract and that can be kind of painful to try to redecipher into words we still don't understand a lot of the a lot of the poetry it had such an openness to it which is something that we like but over the last couple of years, um, some things have had a really profound effect on us. Some things I've already mentioned about child marriage and also discovering about the mass slaughter of girl children in certain places. Um, these things which have touched us emotionally have really automatically taken a space in our in our songwriting.